Welcome back to the channel, everyone. So we're back working on the uh, Super Hawk 996 Turbo build. We are trucking away trying to get the uh, exhaust built. So let's resume where we left off from part one and let's work on this exhaust. Some of you may be asking why I still have the fairings on. Um, I, I like to keep the fairings on for mock-up uh, because I want to avoid all the plumbing and piping. Um, you know, I, I don't want to cut into the, the fairings and I know where the fairings are at so I can route the plumbing around there so I'm not damaging the, the newer fairings. These are obviously Chinese knockoffs, but they're still new. Uh, I don't want to hack through them or you know, when they're removed, you don't realize it until you put them back on, and boom, now you gotta either modify your piping or cut your fairing. So we don't wanna do that. Plus, this is almost a naked bike, it's only a half fared bike. So uh, we can get away with doing it without the fairing on there. If it had a lower fairing, then odds are good you're gonna. You're going to have to cut it to route the, the down pipe. <laughs> A lot of bolts in a tight place. Turbo is sitting a little too high still. I want to bring it up as much as I can so it drains. We want the oil drain to happen naturally. I don't want to have to add a pump because then it just adds to the failure point.
All right, I'm gonna cut this down. I'm gonna cut this down a little more. I want as much clearance as I can and bring it up, bring the turbo up as much as I can. All right, so we ended up not having to trim anymore. <clears throat> That's my final trim. I'm gonna grind, grind out the uh, sugaring that is caused by obviously extra extra gaps in the metal and uh, not back feeding with uh, argon so um, I'll hit that with a grinder before I weld it the turbo inlet flange is prepped I did bolt down the flange you always want to bolt down the flange because it's going to warp if you do not and once it warps that's all she wrote so let's get this cleaned up and we'll get this inlet weld uh, in the flange welded on and then I can start working on this section of the pipe uh, and figure out where I'm going to cut this All right, I had a little hiccup trying to get the down pipe connected to the turbo flange um, so I'm working with a round hole in the inlet flange and an oval hole on the um, downpipe, so uh, turbo inlet pipe, sorry. Uh, <clears throat> so I made a couple slots, one, two, three, and four, and then I'm gonna hammer tap these uh, oblonged um, edges in, trying to make it more circular to actually fit in the flange, because the problem I'm having now, the it's oval, and it's hitting the actual bolts that, uh, hold the flange to the turbo so uh, that's no good once I weld it on there I wouldn't have been able to get the bolts off so uh, did that cut it and now I'm gonna just hammer it down get it into shape Pretty thin wall, so a couple taps with the, the hammer should do it. a lot more circular now. And there you go. And much more circular. That should give me enough room. And then all I have to do is just weld up the little slots and we're good to go. forgot the most important uh, thing and that's to clean up the edges because remember this is galvanized and you want to get that coating off before you weld on it uh, very toxic fumes you don't want to breathe that stuff <clears throat> alright guys back to the drawing board I had to add a uh, sleeve to extend the header because it's just too short and it's hitting the bolts no matter what I do, no matter what angle. So I uh, cut a hole in there, or actually um, cut a slot in there to so it's uh, I can bring the circumference down so I can fit in that flange. So now it fits. I'm going to weld this to the turbo inlet flange and then this is going to get welded to there. 
and that way I can shape it around there. It's going to drop my turbo down a good inch, maybe a little more. Um, but there's really nothing else I can do. I can't get the turbo any higher um, without interfering with everything anyway. So this is the these are the hiccups you come across and when you're fabricating something. It's to be expected. Uh, like I said, the exhaust is going to be uh, the biggest pain in the butt out of the project. Uh, I'm probably going to have 10, 15 hours or more just on the uh, exhaust piping itself. So bear with me, um, and we'll we'll get there. All right, I welded up that sleeve onto the inlet flange. Is. So, the turbo is still a little hot. It's all welded up there, and I get I'll get that notched slot that I put in there to fit in there when I weld the actual header pipe on there. I'm gonna let that cool, and then we'll be back to uh, weld on. <clears throat> the header itself Stay tuned guys uh, subscribe like do whatever uh, you need to do uh, Please it keeps the channel going um, It's the only way I can actually do these builds uh, This is not free. It is very expensive to actually turbo uh, a motorcycle So please like and subscribe. I would appreciate it. I'll see you next time. So the turbo is, uh, <clears throat> or the header is mocked up, the inlet. Uh, I ended up buying um, a little Harbor Freight 110 volt flux welder because uh, it was just, the gap was too much, the dissimilar metals, it was becoming a pain in the butt to, to weld the two. Uh, so the MIG welder, or I should say the flux uh, wire welder, um, went much quicker and I was able to fill in the large gaps. Uh, ignore the pipe that's in the way that has to get cut somewhere over here it's going to get cut and then we're going to transition it back this way um, to to the back uh, cylinder so it can feed. <clears throat> so that's what I'm working on now. Uh, apologize it's been like a week. Um, it's got really cold and my garage is not heated and then we had some holiday parties so I, I'm working on it I, I'm, I'm working on it slowly like I said this is gonna take a, a a few months to get this going but there is your turbo placement unfortunately I cannot bring the turbo up anymore um, so I am gonna be uh, I'm gonna have no choice but to run a, um, a scavenge pump you know, I, I really didn't want to do that. Uh, it's it's something else to fail. You know, if that pump fails, uh, there there goes the turbo. But I mean, if it fails, you should know. Uh, you'll see the turbo smoking, and then you could just shut it off. But I, I didn't want that extra failure point. But I could not get that turbo up any higher. Um, so it clearances everything. Uh, front wheel has plenty of room. Uh, this is a no fairing bike and the radiators on the um, or a half fairing bike and the radiators are on the side so if there's plenty of room there that's not the issue um, but we're trucking along we're getting uh, getting it going here uh, next is just working on that back cylinder pipe uh, see if I can get it tucked in there a little more because I got to get it out of the way of the the down pipe because it's literally smack dab in the middle of the way all right guys until next time this is uh we'll probably get it uh, i'll probably be working on it tomorrow as well I, i'm trying to do a little bit every day it is cold it was a whopping 20 degrees today and uh, my garage is maybe 21 degrees so uh until next time we'll see you then <clears throat>
All right, we're getting close. Uh, kind of flux wire MIG welded. It's not really MIG, but that's the one piece. And this is a slip on to the rear uh, cylinder, so I don't know. I may have to weld it on. We'll see if it holds up. I'm afraid it's going to leak out there. There's just a a little slip gasket in there. I'm not sure what that's made of. One of those little exhaust gaskets. <clears throat> we'll see if it leaks, but uh, this is what it's going to look like, and I just got to make I'll clean up the welds a little bit. Either way, the welds are going to be hidden because uh, I'm going to have to uh, uh, put some heat shrink, not heat shrink, heat wrap around the uh, header because it's it's pretty close to the fairing over here, and I don't want it to melt. Plus, it'll make it look much better. Uh, you know, it's it's tough to MIG and flux wire weld when the gaps are huge. Get in there. This one will just trim a little bit. I gotta take maybe a quarter inch off to get it in there. But we'll finish that up on another day. It's coming along. I'm curious to see what this thing's gonna sound like. The um, Once we get the exhaust and the downpipe bound, uh, uh, routed, I'll dribble a little lube in the in the turbo and then we'll start it up to kind of see what it sounds like i've never uh heard a turbo v-twin so I'm curious should be an interesting uh sound all right guys until next time all right that's what uh she's gonna look like that's gonna be the turbo inlet pipe uh, I just got to weld up trim and weld up this one pipe here I kind of made it a slip fit so I can uh, figure out the, all the bends and now I'll just I'll cut it and uh, spread this smaller pipe out a little bit and then weld it up and then I'll order the down pipe um, for the turbo I think it's like a two or two and a half inch pipe, so I'll just get some mild steel. Uh, you know, obviously, from the looks of it, you know the bike's pretty beat up anyway, and the welds are pretty ugly. Uh, this is just going to be just a, a fun ride. I, I, I'm, I can't wait. Been wanting to do this for a while, and uh, also it's carbureted, so that's that's kind of what prevented me from doing it. Um, so that's going to be a a fun endeavor there as well trying to figure out the the blow through carb setup but it's coming along and then I'll re I'll reclock the turbo so the uh, uh the compressor side is aiming down obviously I got to um, clock it the <clears throat> just loosen up the it's either bolts or um, I think it's a snap ring I have to look at it you just loosen that up and I'll spin it around, take the two bolts off of the uh, the actuator uh, for the wastegate and then just spin it around so it aims up and then we can we have a straight shot up through um, through the frame here. And it looks like we could probably shove it right through here. This will be gone of course. We could probably get it shoved through there. We might have to do a little bending and hammer persuasion 
but I'll run a, a two inch pipe up through there. Should be able to squeeze that in there. Uh, but it is coming along. I'm trying to work on it every day, but it's, you know, with the holidays coming, you know, Christmas is only a few days away and uh, the wife's staring at me, uh, wanting to help out around the house for, you know, preparations of uh, parties. Um, so I've been working out at a two or three hours a day. So hang in with, hang in there, guys. Uh, I'm, I'm working on it. I'm getting there. Um, I'm hoping to finish it by February, March. So that gives me two to three months uh, time because uh, uh, I got to get it finished, of course. Got to need, need the garage space back uh, to park my truck back in here. And then uh, in between working on this, we'll start looking at that Hibusa. See you next time, guys. Subscribe and like, please.